Now let me show you a little more about the scroll to action. It's actually overlooked quite a lot, but there is so much you can do with it. Make sure you copy the free Figma exercise file so you can play with all of these animations yourself. You'll find the link in the description below. So quite an obvious use for this would be a one page website where we'd want to connect our navigation with different sections on the page. So I'm using scroll to set just an easing animation. And if you're wondering, the offset is only there if you have, for example, a fixed menu bar so that it's taken out of the positioning. Make sure that you have clipped content and the scrolling behavior set to vertical. Let's hit play. And you can see that our navigation works just perfectly. But scroll through doesn't only work in one direction. You can also create nice little effects like this. For this to work, I have a parent frame and within that parent frame, I have a nested horizontal scroll frame. So you can see in my prototyping mode that this frame is set to horizontal scrolling and very important, I have clipped content. So I have content that is larger than this frame. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Then I have my buttons down here and notice how they're not set on this frame with the images, but on the parent frame. If we jump over to prototyping, you can see that I connected each of those buttons with one of the images. And I did that by setting them to on click scroll to. And we can even push this further and create scroll to in multiple directions, like for this map. So same story, really. I have a parent frame that holds the different locations here. And then on the same parent frame, I have another nested frame holding the map. And very important again, this is set to clip content and the content is much larger than the frame. And here you can see that I placed pins for my different locations on that frame, also on the hidden part of it. Now in prototyping, it's very important that this frame is set to horizontal and vertical scrolling. Only my map, not the rest. Connections, same story as before, on click scroll to. And if you're wondering about the offset here, this is exactly half of the size of the nested frame. And this means that if I click on any of those activating scroll to, then the scroll to will position the pin right in the center of this frame. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. There is more coming. Also, make sure to visit moolearning.io where you find the full course on prototyping with my Figma working files.